Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to explain how to uh, configure SSRS server. Uh, so uh, I'm going to walk you through all the steps. Uh, so at this point I have the local uh, SQL Server installed. Uh, so make sure you have the default instance uh, installed, not a name instance. So uh, if you have installed uh, SQL Server and that's a name instance, uh, that will not work with the SSRS, so you need a default instance first of all. That's kind of the foremost information that you need to get uh, fixed. Uh, so let's go to the reporting service configuration manager. Um, at this point, uh, nothing is set up, so I am setting up everything uh, for the first time with you guys. Let's wait for the page to load. I think it has loaded. Okay, here. So this is my PC name. Uh, and uh, in this case, since this is going to be a default name, so I can just use my PC name or maybe I can just use local host. Uh, and the name of the server is MS SQL Server, which is the name uh, in case when it's a default server. So uh, this one is not accepting. Okay, let's do the find. Okay, it did find it out. Uh, so let's connect. So the first screen is a uh, localhost MS SQL Server. That uh, is what the, the reporting service is going to use. Uh, this is the enterprise evaluation version uh, and uh, let's go to the service account. Uh, so we're going to use the built-in account, which is the virtual service account that looks all good. Uh, the next step is the website URL. This is kind of the important stuff. So uh, here uh, we are seeing the URL is localhost ed reporting server. That's the name of the uh, that's the name, that's the URL that we're going to be accessing. Here is port 80, uh, so I'm not really using port 80 for anything else, so I can probably use it as it is, but maybe if you're using, you know, an SIS or another server uh, service on the, on port 80, so then you can change it, so maybe I'll just change it to 8080 just so I can make it, you know, more specific. Uh, so the next step is going to be the database, okay? You're about to leave the panel without applying your changes. Press OK to leave. Okay, let's cancel. We are going to apply this, okay? So uh, basically we change the port from 80 to 8080. So it is uh, doing all this background work in here and uh, uh, I'm not sure if I should click this and whether it will work. Uh, I am not sure. Uh, access error, no, nothing found. Okay, so at this point, uh, I don't think it's properly configured. Uh, let's come out of it. Uh, so the next step is um, go to the database. So uh, right now, as you can see, uh, current reporting server database, nothing is selected. Uh, that means that, uh, you know, we have to create one. Uh, change the database, create a new reporting server database. Yes, that is what we're going to go for. Uh, Localhost, uh, that looks all good. Test connection is has been verified. Uh, so the name of the database that I'm going to use is reporting server. That looks fine to me. Uh, server service credentials authentication type. Uh, I'll just go with the Windows credential. I guess I'll leave it with service credentials. Okay. Uh, in this case, uh, reporting server TemDB. Reporting server is the main database. Local host is the server. And let's see if it succeeds. So the first two have already succeeded, uh, and uh, there has been more successes as well. Still setting DSN in progress. Okay, uh, so everything has succeeded. Uh, make sure this step passes. So uh, if you're using a non-default instance, this step is going to fail. So make sure you're using a default instance of SQL Server and then there should be no problem in here. So now it's just applying those changes uh, and uh, 
change credential we do not have to uh, web URL uh, which is this one uh, and I'm not sure if uh, I can access this one now oh okay that so I'm using actually port 80 for something else so that's the good thing that I have changed the port to 8080 um, but still not working configure a URL to connect to your port <laughs> click advanced to define multiple URLs you have to specify additional parameters in the URL uh, the web portal virtual directory name is not configured oh to configure the directory enter a name or use the default value that is provided and then apply okay so I need to apply actually over here okay so that warning sign has uh, is now gone so let's click on this guy now access can I open document for reports okay okay So I'm not seeing any other warning as such. Can there be a problem with this port? Let's change to port 8081 and apply. Okay, Microsoft SQL Server Report and Service Version. Okay, so this is actually working now uh, because it's not giving any error. Uh, it is saying uh, Microsoft SQL Server Report and Service Version dash. Um, so uh, the fact that there is nothing over here, so it's not doing anything, but uh, this URL is working. Uh, that means that the problem was 8080. Probably that port was used somewhere else. Uh, and also we can try this other link which is uh, this one uh, and interestingly this one is still pointing to 8080 but let's try this uh, giving another right let's change it manually nope uh, let's go to advance and let's change this to 8081 also uh, and then apply okay let's see what this one does service not available okay now now let, let me try something else let me change this to 8082 which would be funny if uh, you know we are using two different ports but let's try this oh okay now this one is also working uh, at least it's throwing some error from the system administrators the reporting servers isn't configured properly contact your system administrator to resolve the issue system administrator report server web url Okay, the report server, web portal URL, and web service URL don't match. Use reporting services configure. Okay, so web portal URL and web service. Web service URL is this one, and web portal is this one, and it says it does not match. So let's match it now. Uh, 
what could be here we are using virtual directory is report server and the port is different so what i'll do is change bring it to the same port Uh, okay great this is now working so we are seeing uh, the browse page so when you go into this root url it's going to point to browse that means uh, that uh, all the reports will be available to you in here so when you publish it they are going to appear in here uh, and i'll make another tutorial on that but uh, just to recap uh, you have to choose a unique port uh, in here so 8080 did not work because it probably was used somewhere else uh, maybe I'll, I'll try it localhost 8080 uh, access denied okay so maybe I'm using it for a dedicated uh, website or something maybe uh, so once you change that in here you have to manually change it uh, in this place here as well and the way you do it, you have to click in, uh, click on the advance and then click on the edit button. Uh, and then uh, that will give you an option to update it. So once that is done, uh, you will have the reporting services properly set up. So uh, make sure you have the default instance of SQL Server installed. Uh, and then the rest of it is uh, explained in this uh, video. So uh, I hope this helps. Thank you.